Bonjour. Well, today, tonight, <laughs> I'm going to show you how to install um, Rayfx Nexus, in my case, 3. And there are a lot of problems. Before I told about that, it does not work usually, so you have to install some libraries. Probably it changed, like maybe they made some updates. I don't know that because I reinstalled my Linux the third time, but this time I had to do that because I had some issues. I installed too much tools and spoiled it. So I want to just have again clean. And now first time I see my benefits of using simple tools like Reaper the installation, everything is so quick and simple, but never mind, it's another topic. Uh, topic. So let's go into uh, the installation and installing of Nexus plugin on Linux. First of all, <laughs> I made a break <laughs> without cut. Okay. Well, let's go. What we are doing first is uh, going to the Nexus website, reefx.com. The links are always uh, um, in the comments, so I will post them. Or description. Well, um, we need to download the reefx cloud. The cloud you only get if you log in. And if you don't have an account, you just have to sign up. But that's the only way to get exactly uh, this reefx cloud. As soon as you download them, or it you should just open it and in my case I already have wine if you don't have wine please watch my uh, another video I des described exactly how it works and how to install but the main issue right now is it does not open and even if it opens it freezing so that's the issue that um, some libraries are missing so that's why we first open the wine configuration with wine CFG and for that, just type in terminal. And the first thing I do is change the graphics to 120 dpe. Uh, I don't know will it will work, but I just did that steps and it worked for me. So I appreciate if you, uh, not appreciate, but I, I just explain, explain what I did and probably it will help you too. And the next step will be to add all these libraries, which you see on the right side so after that, this is by the way from my old Linux um, version, I just saved them as a screenshot. So if I install Linux again, or uh, Ravex um, Nexus, that I can use it again. So that's how I made it work. And to make this come true, we have to do several steps. For example, we need to install Wine Tricks and some several DirectX libraries from um, Windows. So do this as I do it too. The link is always seen on the screen or uh, the comments. So you just need to copy and paste in your terminal. And um, if it looks something like that, just um, be sure it everything is fine. And after doing that, you already should see some several installed DirectX libraries in your wine, wine configuration. And don't forget the wine configuration you open with wine CFG. So let's try it again with wine. And um, it does not work, so we have to run also with well, Studio, as I understood. And here is the code again, I will post it as always. So just copy and paste. And these are the missing uh, libraries, I think for some graphical issues. That's why this uh, plugin is freezing. So uh, no need to worry, I reinstalled everything, tried again and it's like nothing uh, secret, it's uh, some open source and never mind just if you see something like that and if you want just check out what exactly you're installing it's just libraries from uh, windows that's all never mind as you can see these are uh, windows 
windows <laughs> and uh, you have to go through that and dot net framework i think i remember even myself when i had windows 15 years ago so yes this is um, the code i tried again to check is everything fine and yes it was already installed so it works everything is fine never mind we installed now the windows libraries let's try now to open the cloud and surprise surprise it does not work but the main thing is we came one step further so what we will do now is to check in uh, local it's like in the average uh, we will open the terminal exactly in the folder Yabridge and by the way uh, this comment if you remember it's uh, checking it did uh, Yabridge uh, see or find uh, the Nexus plugin and seems like as you see no zero there is no Nexus found so what we will do go back to wine configuration change uh, to Windows 11 I don't know will it change something or not but it worked for me so these are just different more steps you can even leave these steps but never mind so let's go back to the terminal and we need to find out is any library missing like maybe I forgot something so I just compared and the good part is I will post all the lists for you in the comments or in the description so you can compare yourself too. If you have all the libraries which I will uh, list, I, you can be sure that everything works fine. So that's the main thing about comparing with my screenshot. For example, I think this D3, D10 core is missing. So I just edit manually and um, I cannot tell is this like changing something but the main thing is in the worst case you can make it even reverse and delete all these libraries yourself by the way it's not a good idea to just add everything in this list because it will make your Linux slow so for graphical issues I think all the DirectX are fine Excuse me, by the way, my uh, issues on the screen happening because my screen recorder seemed like had some trouble, never mind. But the main success is that finally the uh, ReFX Cloud works. So just log in and on the right side you see the plugin which you just need to install. And it will ask you to download all libraries you have or just uh, the plugin itself and that's it so congratulations if you came until this step then uh, I'm glad for you uh, next thing we need to check is it's not like it's working because it's still a Windows plugin but we need to register it with uh, Yabridge, right? Remember Yabridge? We uh, how to install it? I have a video about that. You need Yabridge to make it run. So let's open it again in the terminal. For those who are surprised, it's right click in the Yabridge folder and open terminal. That's it. So I made dot slash Yabridge CTL status to check did he find my. Uh, Linux plugin and seemed like not. So, what happens exactly now? Like, why again not showing? And it's quite simple. So, even this sync showed nothing changed. But the plugin is exists, like it's successfully installed, and the solution is in adding a new path. But just give me a second, I will show you how it will be done. It's very quick. Just to be sure, is really everything is fine. I open Reaper, I check, did he find Nexus? And no, there is no Nexus. But as I said, there is some path missing because it seemed like um, 
never mind. Go to this page from your bridge. The link always there in my description. Scroll down to step two and this code we need to copy. So once again, scroll, scroll, scroll. And there you see it's step two, right? So just take this path, copy it and It's very important to go back to um, yeah, bridge. To remember the dot local, by the way, you get with Windows H. So if you don't find this folder in your personal folder, just push Windows H. That's how you open your secret folder. And by the way, this is the path which we want add, right? Which I was talking about. So we are going back to local share yeah, bridge right click on some empty place and open terminal and don't worry about the path which is seen on the first uh, i will um, i will post you this uh, path too we are just going to copy the link which we copied from the website and before you push enter be careful we need to change this path to the place where nexus.dll exists, right? And this will be .wine, drive C, program files. And that's it. I'm just changing the path to the place where you can find nexus.dll. So, PST plugins. And this should work, right? Program files, PST plugin. But don't forget dot slash. This means it's in the actual path. If not, you will get an error and press enter and ta-da, it worked. That's it. We still need to sync the yeah, bridge. I know it can be annoying, but believe me, if you get used to that, it's very easy. So again, local share yeah, bridge, right click on some empty place. Yeah, bridge CTL status case you just want to check but um, yes 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 of course CTL don't forget that so in my case I already synced because I if you see remember I had some graphical issues with my recordings so yes I already did this step so you just need to do in your case yeah bridge CTL sync so that's it. If you synced, open your door and ta -da, it should work. Don't worry about VST3 and VST Nexus. It chose two times, but I think there are two different uh, runtimes. I'm not sure how to call that, but I think one is. is 60 something it's about the threads i have no idea but never mind that's not our topic i'm not a technician not not a technical freak i cannot tell you why exactly but one is 64 bit one 32 maybe something like that so it works and congratulations